six feet or, or less in diameter is where the, our inventory picks up and PAMS leaves off. We're only looking at the state maintained system and we're looking at spatial data, structural header information, and then condition data. The type of structural information we're looking at is size material, depth of culvert, you know, obviously a, a 18 inch culvert under 50 feet of fill is a different animal than one five feet under fill. Um, we're also looking at is it part of closed systems or part of open systems. Um, and we're also managing an understanding of who owns these culverts since sometimes there's private ownerships within our right of way. We're not maintaining these culverts, but we need to know they're there and we need to know if there's a hydraulic issue that we're dealing with those. Then we've got, uh, of course, structural condition, design spec to uh, of, of the shape of the culvert to what it is today, any erosion, uh, corrosion or pitting going on. And then we're also looking at road settling or sinkholes with, with those kinds. So obvious limitations of these kinds of inspections is that we can't get in them. It's hard to see what's going on. We've had plenty of culverts that are in good or fair condition that we've had issues you know, years later or a year later or something like that. So it's, it's a tricky asset to manage. Other things that are involved in this uh, inspection is we're looking at all the catch basins, all the drop inlets and uh, access holes and basically all the nodes that connect our culverts out there. Progress, so I'll start with 2007, we had the MS4 area completed and we started to work on uh, interstates. These were our first initial roadway priority. There's different grades of quality of data in the interstates and some of the east-west cross routes in the state have some high quality survey grade information. Essentially over the last seven years, we've worked to complete most of the state this brings us to today, and we're hoping by the end of next field season that we've completed the whole state. Um, we're starting to work on reinspection apps to reinspect just the condition component of, of this. But the baseline foundation should be all established by the end of next field season. And, uh, we're using in the AGF, the RTS online um, suite of tools to do both mobile service for our field staff as well as desktop. When we look at it, we're thinking of an asset. So this 60135 is an actual culvert with materials, lengths, has a, a birth date, and eventually will have an end date. And then we'll replace that, and there will be, you know, that, that idea will disappear. That will be retired. That culvert's over. It's done. We'll have a new one. And what our goal is, is to look at deterioration, look at lifespan of assets, and kind of take that information and build off of it. What that doesn't help you with is if Shane's got location eight and I've got culvert 17 and then I retire mine, any links in there are gonna break. So we may have to have an intermediate step that looks against, okay, where, you know, what location is this versus what asset is. Yeah, and that's, we've been trying to push that for folks who are interested in the data. There are some limitations, right, to using a REST if you want to do some of the analytics. So we're also kind of looking at the uh, open portal just to serve out some of, basically be able to take a chunk and download it if you want to do the next step. But yeah, the, the REST service is out there. It's, it's public facing, it's available to everyone. Um, and typically we like that because then you get the updates Get information as we update it, and and right now we're updating this on like a bi-weekly. Um, you know, we're making major uploads to this database on every couple weeks, so it is kind of something that we want people to get plugged into, not just get the latest bug. There's a couple different things. So in the field, we're doing inspections based on culvert ends, so we're we're using that geometry to generate culverts, right? Yeah. Um, we've stayed away from internally from serving out points, the culverts as points, just because of the complexity of our systems. A lot of areas, if you look at center line points, it's not going to make any sense because of the way things are laid out. Um, is this 
it is kind of something we could do. We, we maintain a table of LRS locations. So we could provide a, a one point per culvert type uh, layer file if you needed one. Um, but for the most part, we're, we're trying to stick with lines. Uh, we're actually even trying to supplement some of the stuff, the, uh, the larger culverts, with some geometry that's actual lines so we know kind of how the systems are working, not just where they are.